Hello guys, welcome to WeFix Technology. Today I brought you a complete tutorial of Laravel CRUD operations through resource controller. Today we will be learning how we can create, update, edit, and delete data through the resource controller. So I will make separate videos for an ease to understand. Let's get started. So let's start from the very scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and let me open some of the folders so I can install a fresh Laravel project. Let me come and I'm gonna say Laravel new and let's give a name Laravel CRUD. I'll start the Laravel installation. Keep in mind, I am using PHP 8.1. So today's we will have Laravel 10. As of now, 11 is in the market, but 11 requires PHP 8.2. However, if we speak about the CRUD operation, it's more or less almost similar. Does not matter you are on Laravel 9, 10, 11, whatever. Almost all the things are similar. So do not lose your heart that you will be missing something. Stick with the video and I'm pretty much sure you'll be learning everything. So yeah. It'll take some time, bear with me. So one more thing in this tutorial, I will go ahead in the, that's the first step. First, we will be installing Laravel that's going on. Then second step, I'll go ahead and create the model migration and controller. Then we will make the separate videos accordingly. So make sure follow the entire series and let's make it happen. We are almost there. My SQL. So let's get into Laravel Rad, and I'm gonna open into this VS Code. Perfect. So we did create a project. Let me run it just to show you the glimpse how it looks like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, use Google Chrome, and that's the default structure of Laravel. That's the opening page, startup page, whatever you say. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a migration here. So let's assume we are creating a CRUD for post. So I'm going to say PHP artisan make model now. This thing, focus here. Instead of creating model migration controller in all separate commands, we'll be using a shorthand. I'm going to pass a flag and say M denotes migration, C for controller, R for resource controller, and we will have everything enter and it is done. My bad. Made a little typo error. I'm going to say PHP artisan make model. And we have to mention the name of the model, which is post. Then I'm going to pass the flag MCR and it should work. Pretty much done. So now if we see here in database migration, we have a new post table. Let's pass some entries. Table, string, let's name title. I'm going to replicate it. Shift, Alt, and arrow down one more time. First, going to be title. Then second, let's take an image. Third will be body. Let's make it easy. So we have just three rows in our database of database of this table, title, image, and body. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll pass a nullable here. Image is optional. However, if we wish, we could upload it. Now I'm going to go ahead and run the migration. PHP artisan serve. My bad. It's supposed to be PHP artisan migrate. And it'll ask, hey, we don't have a database. Do you wish to create a database? Let me start my XAMPP server real quick. 
Let's do it over. Yes, create one for me. And that's pretty much it. It is migrating and the migration has been successfully done. Now, in this part, in upcoming video, next video, we will be learning how we're going to create a controller and how we'll inject into a blade, a bootstrap template. We'll be learning how to create a form and so forth. So don't forget, subscribe the channel and keep watching the series for the next one. Thank you.